I'm Batman. Although it brings some new gaming ideas to the Dark Knight franchise, Batman Begins continues the Caped Crusader's legacy of bland, repetitive, and unexciting video games. Batman Begins is the first Batman title to bring the element of fear into the gameplay. Whether it's an option or an objective, you now have the ability to scare the hell out of your enemies before you engage them in combat. Oh crap, something bad's coming. The biggest problem with its execution is that your options for creating these fear-inducing moments are extremely limited. In most cases, there's only one item you can interact with. This takes a lot of fun out of it because the game is basically telling you what to do and when leaving you very little room for creativity. The combat is better than most Batman games. There are plenty of diverse finishing move animations, and it's relatively easy to switch between targets mid-fight and take out a swarm of enemies when you get surrounded. The game also has a Splinter Cell radar screen that tells you which enemy is armed and where they're facing, and an optic view that lets you peek through doors before you open them. Batman Begins also has two Batmobile racing levels that are just as linear and repetitive as the rest of the game. The racetrack arrow markers and basic objectives make these missions nowhere near as exciting as the rooftop hopping action sequence from the film. On the plus side, the game looks beautiful. The in-game character models, while not perfect, are more detailed than most movie-licensed games. And the enemy models and voices change with each level, from thugs to corrupt policemen to escaped mental patients. The backgrounds are rich and colorful, and the lighting is crisp and clean. On the negative side, the environments are very inconsistent. You can open this door, but not that one. You can destroy these boxes, but not those. It gets really confusing and frustrating when the game limits which windows you can break and what corners you can peek around. Batman has a dynamic cape that adapts to the environment and looks good when it's spread out, but gets choppy when the Dark Knight is walking around. In a subtle effort to add replay value, the game does have three additional costumes you can unlock once you beat the game. These are clever, but they don't justify playing through the game again, especially since you can't select a specific level and have to start from the beginning. Fans of the film will appreciate the fact that almost the entire cast of Batman Begins lends their voice talent to the game. Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, Cillian Murphy, Tom Wilkinson, and Katie Holmes all help bring their characters to life. But movie fans will also notice that the game rushes through the story pretty fast, with quick film montages to help keep up the plot. This makes the entire game no longer than five to six hours. So what do you think? While Batman Begins brings some fresh new ideas to a franchise desperate for originality, it still falls short of its potential. It's a good looking game, but it never gives you the freedom to truly be Batman.